नमस्ते दिस इज डॉक्टर विजय आनंद रेड्डी डायरेक्टर अपोलो कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट ए सीनियर कैंसर स्पेशलिस्ट ऑन्कोलॉजिस्ट एंड हेड ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ अपोलो कैंसर इंस्टीट्यूट हैदराबाद टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द लंग कैंसर द फ्रीक्वेंटली आस्ड क्वेश्चन बाय द जनरल पब्लिक वी वुड बी एड्रेसिंग मोस्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन what is lung cancer lung cancer like any other cancer cancer arising from the lungs uh, we have two lungs right and left lung for every human body lung as you all know would help us in taking the breath in and out by which it takes it gives you oxygen and exhales uh, carbon dioxide when a tumor develops in any part of the right lung or left lung we call it as lung cancer what are the signs of lung cancer lung cancer as it uh, uh, as it starts in the any part of the lung that might give you different kinds of symptoms in an early stage he would start developing cough occasionally to start with and over a period of time it becomes more and more cough which could be dry cough and later on you start developing breathlessness and sh- that is nothing but shortness of breath so when the disease becomes bigger and bigger and it occupies a good amount of lung uh, then you'll start developing breathlessness some patients might even have while coughing some kind of a bleeding coming out while coughing some patients in advanced stages can even have hoarseness of voice that's when the tumor involves the nerves in the center of the chest then you start developing a uh, hoarseness of voice because of the damage to the recurrent laryngeal nerve are there any hidden signs of lung cancer basically normally most of the people would ignore some kind of a dry cough on and off which is known to happen for so many other reasons simple cold simple lung infection or any kind of dryness or allergy would result in dry cough so if the cough continues to happen for more than 2 to 3 weeks after a standard of care like cough syrups or antibiotics you should always get more investigated in the form of simple x ray and if you find any small shadow in an x ray then you have to get a ct scan done so these signs and symptoms of lung cancer can be hidden may be ignored as a routine cough so please do not ignore them if this this cough continues to bother you for more than 2 to 3 weeks can lung cancer come in children also lung cancer usually happens at an adult age group after the age of 30 40 more so after the age of 50 in children lung cancers are very very rare how can we prevent lung cancer lung cancer is definitely preventable there are several causes that can cause lung cancer most important of all is tobacco either in the form of smoke or in the form of chewing tobacco is very harmful to the body and when you inhale that damages every part of your wind pipe system and both the right and left lungs over a period of time of repeated tobacco smoking or chewing it causes chemical uh, uh, trouble uh, chemical trauma to the lungs and windpipe and then it starts developing into a cancer the more you smoke uh, it depends on the number of cigarettes as well if you increase the number of cigarette smoke per day the chances of having cancer in the lung or elsewhere in the body is the tune of 80% in your lifetime chewing tobacco also causes lung cancer apart from that the diet the lifestyles and the atmospheric pollution also lead to lung cancer so if you keep this in mind never ever uh, take tobacco either in the smoking form or in chewing form and also most importantly this causes a, a secondary uh, damage to the people around you your friends your spouse and children can also be affected when somebody smokes so you have to tell and keep yourself away from people who are smoking what are the treatment options for lung cancer treatment options mainly depend on the stage of lung cancer 
stage 1 lung cancer can be easily dealt with and it can be highly curable it can be treated by a simple surgical resection of that segment of the lung or by doing high dose of radiation in a one or two days which is called stereotactic radiation therapy so these days for elderly people without operation we can do stereotactic radiotherapy which destroys that stage in early stage of lung cancer once it becomes stage 2 after surgery you may have to go for adjuvant treatment in the form of chemotherapy very rarely you may also require radiation if the tumor is spreading to the lymph nodes which we call it as stage 3 when the tumor is spreading from the primary lung into the mediastinal lymph nodes then you may have to give radiation and chemotherapy it's only in stage 1 and stage 2 we will be able to do surgery so beyond stage 2 patient would require a combined modality of treatment which could be surgery radiation therapy and chemotherapy of late we have a new drug which has come into which are which are called targeted therapy and immunotherapy these are used in advanced stage of lung cancer beyond surgical stage that means beyond stage 1 and stage 2 any patient who has got stage 3 or stage 4 diseases we target these tumors with targeted therapy plus or minus immunotherapy targeted therapy and immunotherapy are very good methods of treating these lung cancers wherein the side effects are very very minimal because the targeted therapy uh, comes in a tablet form and those tablets are going to attack only the tumor cells and very less side effects because it does not affect the normal cells similarly you have immunotherapy which boosts up your immunity to fight the cancer cells and it has really made a big dent uh, in lung cancer by combining chemotherapy with immunotherapy or in some patients only immunotherapy has extended the life of stage 4 lung cancer from few months to several years how painful is lung cancer surgery these days lung cancer in stage 1 and stage 2 are easily resectable especially with robotic robotic surgery or laparoscopic surgery we video assisted laparoscopic surgery it is very simple and very uh, patients would recover in a day or two and they'll move out of the hospital on day 3 it's so very simple surgery and we don't remo- we don't remove the entire lung we only remove that segment it's called segmentectomy or that particular lobe wherein the rest of the lung would still remain normal and patient patient would be able to breathe normally and live a normal life can lung cancer be cured yes of course in stage 1 and stage 2 we will be able to completely cure the disease in stage 1 no further treatment would be required in stage 2 you may require chemotherapy or radiation to prevent recurrence in stage 3 and stage 4 we are able to control the disease for several months to several years lung cancer these days is no more to be worried about in stage 1 and stage 2 we are able to cure them completely in stage 3 and stage 4 we are able to control the disease for several months to several years the only caution that i would suggest is do not ignore the symptoms like dry cough or breathlessness you should see a doctor if the cough or breathlessness bothers you for more than 2 to 3 weeks